We have new details to bring you on two assisted living facilities in Horry County. The Department of Health and Environmental Control denying license renewal for Inlet Oaks and Murrells Inlet and revoking the license for Oaks of Loris in Loris. This is according to documents WMBF News received from DHEC and a Freedom of Information request. And our WMBF News reporter Ali Espinosa brings us the latest details on this. Now she joins us live from the Oaks of Loris. Yeah, and Ali, you've been speaking with staff members there. They're trying to keep that facility. They are trying to keep those residents safe. What are the measures they say they're taking to ensure all of that? Yeah, Eric and Rachel, current staff here at Oaks of Loris are telling me they're working to turn this place around. Now, they also tell me that they had no idea what they were getting themselves into when they signed the contract to take this place over this past November. I could never let anybody live the way these residents were living when we showed up here. These documents WMBF News obtained show what led DHEC to revoke the license of Oaks of Loris assisted living facility and deny the renewal for Inlet's Oaks living facility. For Oaks of Loris, the record state black mold was found throughout the entire facility and inside of residents' bedrooms. The documents also list cockroaches were found within the bathrooms and the facility had a strong urine odor throughout hallways and inside bedrooms. As for Inlet Oaks of Highway 707 in Merle's Inlet, DHEC documents show there were some medication violations. New staff at Oaks of Loris are telling me they appealed the revocation of their license and are turning the place around. We've already spent a half million dollars in renovation here and not of money that we have made here, but money that my husband and I have taken out of our personal money to ensure that these residents can have a good place to stay because we care about people. We care about lives. I don't know how that situation could have um, gone on that long. McLean says her organization, Capture Cares, took over the facility in November. She says the previous owners, Coastal Senior Solutions, didn't tell them about the poor conditions of the building and didn't tell them of DHEC's investigation. What we're doing here is not what was done to this place. And as that appeal process continues, we'll be sure to provide you updates. Live in Loris Alley, Spinoza, WMBF News.